Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got a problem from one of my subscribers and here is a problem if DNA has 8 turns and has 40% of adenine then find the number of hydrogen bonds in this fragment. If you think that you can solve this problem on your own, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So how we are going to solve this problem? Everything you have to know is uh, that uh, bases pairs as follows. G base pairs with C and A with T. I think that uh, everyone knows this uh, basic information about uh, DNA and uh, also most of you know that in uh, message RNA, thymine would be replaced with uracil and all the rest bases would be the same. So as you see on the right side we have here cut and this word would help us because uh, some of the bases has a two ring structure and some of the bases has only one ring. So two ring for guanine and uh, adenine and one ring for cytosine, uracil and thymine. So now you see why I call this basis cut. So like a cut short version of these two bases. So this is just mnemonic technique that uh, allows you to memorize which basis has one ring and which basis has two rings. Also, uh, this basis on the right we call pyrimidines and this on the left we call purines. So this is also easy to memorize those bases that is uh, larger and their name is shorter. So purines is shorter than pyrimidines. Uh, some of you may consider that this would be much more logical if, if a short variation of the basis would have short name. But on the other hand, uh, consider such situation if you would see a green cat on the street or black cat. Which one you would uh, memorize easier? The one that is obvious or the one that uh, stands out? So this is how uh, mnemonic techniques work. So also you can uh, memorize that uh, guanine and cytosine uh, as you see looks uh, almost identical. I mean uh, the appearance of these two letters and adenine and thymine looks differently. So this is like the same species like uh, uh, people that uh, belong to one family and we connect this uh, guanine and cytosine with triple bond. So these two bases has triple bond and uh, these two bases that don't look similar connected with double bond. Now as you see this is very easy to memorize. Once again this is uh, Purines, this is pyrimidines and they have only one ring. These two bases has two rings. Guanine and cytosine has three bonds, hydrogen bonds and adenine and thymine has two hydrogen bonds. And in uh, RNA, in message RNA for example, when um, thymine would be substituted with uh, uracil, also adenine would be uh, would make a double bond with uracil. So now we can solve our problem. The only uh, information you have to know in order to solve this problem is that DNA makes a one uh, 360 degrees turn every 10 or 10.5 bases. You may find different information in different sources because DNA has different conformations. For example, it can be in the A conformation, 
B conformation or Z conformation. And also pH of the solution and uh, other different factors may influence these uh, numbers. So let's take, uh, for example, this number, because this number in our problem would give us discrete numbers, because um, DNA pairs cannot be, for example, 0 0.35. We count them in discrete numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now imagine that we have double stranded DNA, and uh, this DNA consists of 40% of adenine. So, for example, if we have 10 uh, bases here, that means that 8 out of 10 would be adenine. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And on the other strand of the DNA, as you see, adenine with pairs with zymine, we would have zymine. So zymine, 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 and zymine. And uh, the rest, uh, so we have 40% of the adenine, 40% of zymine, so this makes total 80%. So the left 20% would be guanine and cytosine. So, for example, we have here guanine, guanine, and cytosine, cytosine here. So total number of the bases 10 here and 10 here. So... Um, 40% of 20 would be 8, so adenine uh, would make 40% in this uh, double-stranded DNA, zymine would make also 40%, guanine would make 10%, and cytosine also would make 10% in this double-stranded DNA, so this basis pairs like this and when we know composition of uh, this fragment and this uh, fragment of 10 base pairs total number would be 20 and uh, as you see adenine uh, has double bond with zymine so we can put double bond everywhere here so because we have uh, eight base pairs with double bond we have to multiply eight by two so 16 uh, hydrogen bonds here and cytosine and guanine is uh, connected by triple bond so two multiplied by 3, we have 6. So, total number of um, bonds here would be 6 plus 16. So, total number would be 22 on this fragment. And this is not an answer yet, because uh, we are told that our DNA fragment has 8 turns. So, now we have to multiply this number by 8. So our final answer would be 176 hydrogen bonds we can find in the DNA fragment that makes uh, 8 turns and each turn would consist of 10 base pairs. One more time I want to highlight that uh, we are told here that uh, adenine makes 40%. That doesn't mean that we have to put 4 adenines here. We put 8 adenines here because uh, on this fragment we have 20 bases. So 8 out of 20 would be 40%. So 40% of adenine, 40% of zymine and 10% uh, of guanine and 10% of cytosine, uh, what is left. And in this fragment we have 
eight base pairs with double bond and two base pairs with triple bond. So in this uh, fragment we have 22 hydrogen bonds and uh, if we know that DNA makes eight turns we have to multiply this number by eight turns and this would give us this final number of uh, hydrogen bonds of uh, such a fragment. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.